Mr. President, I'm honored to be here on the floor today to join Senator McConnell and my other colleagues in recognizing the service that Senator Judd Gregg has provided to the people of this country and for us, importantly, to the people of New Hampshire. I've had the good fortune to know Senator Gregg since I first got elected to public office. In the New Hampshire political tradition, you learn to work together with people on both sides of the aisle for what's in the best interests of New Hampshire. And Senator Gregg has been a fine example of that tradition. I've enjoyed working with him over the years, and his presence here in the chamber and the Senate halls will be missed both by me and, as we've already heard, by the rest of our colleagues. And I think, as Senator Gregg was giving his remarks, the number of senators who were here to say goodbye um, shows the respect and the, how much he will be missed by all of our colleagues. Throughout my own public life, I've always appreciated the civility and generosity Senator Gregg has shown me. When I was elected to the State Senate in New Hampshire, it was then Governor Gregg who swore me in for the first time. And when I was elected to the United States Senate, he was the first Republican to call me, not just to offer his congratulations, but to offer his advice and help in getting started here in Washington. Senator and I have followed similar paths to the Senate, although his service has been longer than mine. Though we're the same age, so I won't say that your service has been older than mine, Joe. Um, but I think that experience, both of us having served as governor, leading New Hampshire, has given us a, a much more similar mindset than most people would expect. I think it contributes to our concern about controlling the debt and ensuring that this government is functioning in the best interests of all of its citizens. And I, again, appreciated his commitment to addressing that debt for future generations in his remarks this afternoon. Now, while we haven't always agreed on the best approach to solve those problems, Senator Gregg's civility has never wavered. And since coming to the Senate, I've noticed that he extends that same civility and courtesy to colleagues on both sides of the aisle. In a town that's not always known for its good manners, Senator Gregg reminds us that we can disagree without being disagreeable. Senator Gregg, of course, is known for his expertise on budgetary matters and his dedication to one of the gravest issues that faces this country, and that's its rapidly ballooning deficit. His expertise will not be easily replaced, especially at a time when our nation so urgently needs a New Hampshire-style approach strong, bipartisan, and no nonsense. It's a concern about the deficit that we share, and I hope that in some small way I can continue his search for solutions to this challenge. Now, what might be less known to people in Washington, though Senator McConnell mentioned it, is Senator Gregg's passion for the preservation of open lands. He's a conservationist in the fine Republican tradition of Teddy Roosevelt, and he's helped preserve New Hampshire's wonderful legacy of forests and lakes. And for those of you who may someday visit the New Hampshire State House, um, you'll be surprised to see that Senator Gregg appears in his formal gubernatorial portrait in the mountains of New Hampshire, as I think is fitting for somebody who cares so much about the environment. In 2001, when I was governor, and um, Senator Gregg was here, we worked together to preserve the Connecticut Lakes headwaters, 171,000 acres. It was the largest contiguous block of land in New Hampshire in private ownership. And with his leadership, we were able to ensure that future generations could enjoy the beauty of this beautiful working forest and part of New Hampshire. Now, as another well-known senator, again, one that Judd alluded to when he spoke, Daniel Webster once said, we have been taught to regard a representative of the people as a sentinel on the watchtower of liberty. In Congress and the governor's office, in Washington and in New Hampshire, Senator Gregg has served as that sentinel. He will be missed, 
And I join my colleagues and the people of New Hampshire in wishing him and Kathy and your whole family well in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. I yield the floor.